Today we count down the 10 most ridiculous things billionaires own. These are so over the top and unnecessary that it's hard to believe anyone would actually buy them. But what do they really need with all this stuff? Let's find out. Number 10. $45 million submarine. James Cameron, the director of Titanic and Avatar, owns a $45 million submarine called the Deep Sea Challenger. He used it to reach the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the deepest point in the ocean, in 2012. The Deep Sea Challenger is a one-person submarine that can withstand the extreme pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. It has a titanium hull and is equipped with a variety of scientific instruments. Cameron's dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench was a solo expedition. He spent over three hours at the bottom of the trench, conducting scientific experiments and taking photos and videos. He was the first person to reach the bottom of the Mariana Trench alone. Cameron's dive was a major accomplishment, but it was also very expensive. The Deep Sea Challenger cost $45 million to build, and the dive itself cost another $7 million. Some people have criticized Cameron for spending so much money on a submarine and a dive to the bottom of the ocean. They argue that the money could have been better spent on other things, such as helping the poor or funding scientific research. However, Cameron has defended his decision to build the Deep Sea Challenger and dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. He says that the expedition was a valuable scientific and technological achievement. He also says that the expedition helped to raise awareness of the importance of ocean conservation. Number 9. $50 Million Car Collection Have you ever seen Jay Leno's car show? He owns a $50 million collection of cars that includes over 180 vehicles. That's more cars than most people would need in a lifetime. But Jay Leno is a billionaire, and he can afford to do things that most people can only dream of. Jay Leno's car collection includes some of the most rare and expensive cars in the world. He has a McLaren P1, which is worth over $1 million. He also has a Ferrari LaFerrari, which is worth even more. And he has a Bugatti Veyron, which is one of the fastest cars in the world. But Jay Leno's car collection isn't just about the most expensive cars. He also has a lot of cars that are sentimental to him. For example, he has the first car that he ever bought, which is a 1966 Ford Mustang. He also has the car that he drove in his first comedy special, which is a 1973 Dodge Dart. Jay Leno's car collection is a reflection of his passion for cars. He loves to drive, and he loves to learn about the history of cars. He also loves to share his passion for cars with others, which is why he has his own car show. So, why do billionaires own such ridiculous things? There are a few reasons. First, they have the money to do it. Second, they often have a passion for the things that they own. And third, they sometimes want to make a statement. Number 8. $55 million golf course. Michael Jordan is a billionaire basketball legend who owns many expensive things. One of the most expensive things he owns is a $55 million golf course called Grove XXII. It's located in Hope Sound, Florida, and was designed by Nicholas Design. It's considered to be one of the best golf courses in the world. This golf course is so expensive because it has a lot of luxurious features. For example, it has a practice range with 65 tees, a putting green that's over 10,000 square feet, and a chipping green that's over 5,000 square feet. The course also has a clubhouse that's over 20,000 square feet and has a restaurant, bar, pro shop, and locker rooms. Only a select few people are allowed to play on this golf course. It's only open to members of Grove XEI and their guests. To become a member, you have to pay a $250,000 initiation fee and annual dues of $25,000. Some people think it's ridiculous for someone to own a $55 million golf course. They argue that it's a waste of money and that it could be used to help people in need. Others argue that it's not that big of a deal and that Jordan is free to spend his money however he wants. Ultimately, whether or not you think it's ridiculous for someone to own a $55 million golf course is up to you. But there's no doubt that Grove XEI is a very impressive and expensive golf course. Number 7. $60 Million Ski Chalet When you think of a $60 million ski chalet, what do you picture? A massive mansion with a private ski lift, a movie theater, and a bowling alley? 
That's exactly what Mark Zuckerberg owns in Deer Valley, Utah. Zuckerberg is the founder and CEO of Facebook, and he's one of the richest people in the world. He can afford to buy anything he wants, and that includes a really fancy ski chalet. The chalet has seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and a private ski lift. It also has a swimming pool, a hot tub, a sauna, and a steam room. There's even a bowling alley and a movie theater. Zuckerberg bought the chalet in 2012, and he's reportedly spent millions of dollars renovating it. He's added a new kitchen, new bathrooms, and a new deck. He's also built a new garage for his snowmobiles and ATVs. Zuckerberg's ski chalet is just one example of the ridiculous things that billionaires own. Other billionaires own private islands, super yachts, and even their own private jets. Some people say that it's ridiculous for billionaires to own such extravagant things. They argue that the money could be better spent on helping the poor or funding education and research. Others say that billionaires have earned their money and can spend it however they want. Number 6. $75 million Vineyard Roman Abramovich, the Russian billionaire who used to own Chelsea Football Club, is now the owner of a $75 million vineyard in Provence, France. The vineyard is called Chateau d'Est Dublin, and it produces over 500,000 bottles of wine per year. It's hard to imagine owning a vineyard that expensive. It's even harder to imagine owning a vineyard that expensive and producing that much wine. That's a lot of wine. Imagine what you could do with that much wine. You could have a wine party every night for the rest of your life and never run out. You could give bottles away to all your friends and family. You could even sell it and make a lot of money. But what would you do with all the money you made from selling wine? You could buy another vineyard, even more expensive than the first one. You could buy a yacht, or a private jet, or a mansion. You could even buy a football club. But why would you want to do any of those things? You already have a vineyard, and that's all you need. A vineyard is the perfect place to relax and enjoy life. You can sit on the porch and watch the sunset. You can take walks through the vineyards and smell the grapes. You can even help out with the harvest. And at the end of the day, you can enjoy a glass of wine that you made yourself. That's the good life. Number 5. $100 million private island. Have you ever dreamed of owning your own island? Well, Richard Branson, the billionaire founder of Virgin Group, made that dream a reality when he bought Necker Island for $180,000 in 1976. He has since developed it into a luxury resort, and it is now worth an estimated $100 million. Necker Island is a 74-acre private island in the British Virgin Islands. It has everything you could want in a tropical paradise, white sand beaches, crystal clear waters, and lush palm trees. There are also two tennis courts, a swimming pool, a spa, and a variety of restaurants and bars. The island can accommodate up to 34 guests, and it is a popular destination for celebrities and the wealthy. Branson himself often stays on the island, and he has hosted many famous guests there, including Barack Obama, Kate Middleton, and Prince William. If you are ever lucky enough to visit Necker Island, you will be treated to the ultimate luxury experience. You will have your own private butler, and you can enjoy all that the island has to offer, from swimming and sunbathing to tennis and spa treatments. Necker Island is just one example of the many ridiculous things that billionaires own. Other examples include private jets with gold-plated toilets, yachts with helipads and submarine garages, and collections of supercars worth millions of dollars. Number 4. $110 million Art Collection Larry Ellison is the co-founder and CEO of Oracle, one of the world's largest software companies. He is also a billionaire art collector. Ellison's collection includes works by some of the most famous artists in history, including Picasso, Van Gogh, and Monet. He also owns a private museum to house his collection. Ellison's art collection is worth an estimated $110 million. That's a lot of money for a few paintings. But to Ellison, it's worth it. He loves art and he loves collecting it. Ellison's collection includes some of the most famous paintings in the world. For example, he owns a painting by Picasso called Woman with a Mandolin. This painting was painted in 1910 and is considered to be one of Picasso's most important works. 
Ellison also owns a painting by Van Gogh called Sunflowers. This painting was painted in 1889 and is one of Van Gogh's most popular works. In addition to his collection of paintings, Ellison also owns a collection of sculptures and other works of art. His collection is housed in a private museum that he built in Malibu, California. The museum is open to the public by appointment only, but if you're lucky enough to get a tour, you'll be able to see some of the most amazing works of art in the world. Number 3. $130 million Bel Air Mansion Billionaire Bill Gates is known for his business savvy and his love of technology. But did you know that he also owns a $130 million mansion in Bel Air, California? It's one of the most expensive homes in the world, with over 66,000 square feet of living space, 24 bedrooms, and 27 bathrooms. So what's it like to live in a house like that? Well, for starters, it's huge. There's so much space that Gates could probably get lost in his own home. He has his own private movie theater, a bowling alley, and a tennis court. And of course, there's a massive swimming pool, complete with its own water slide. But Gates's mansion is more than just a place to relax. It's also a high-tech marvel. The house has its own computer system that controls everything from the lights to the temperature. Gates can even use his phone to check on his home security system or to see if the kids have done their homework. Of course, living in a house like this doesn't come cheap. Gates spends millions of dollars every year on maintenance and upkeep. But he says that it's all worth it. He loves his home, and he enjoys sharing it with his family and friends. So what's the most ridiculous thing about Bill Gates's mansion? I guess that's a matter of opinion. But I think it's pretty crazy that he has a private bowling alley. I mean, how often can he really use it? And who cleans it up afterwards? But even though Gates's mansion is a bit over the top, it's still an impressive piece of property. And it's a reminder of just how wealthy and successful Bill Gates really is. Number 2. $165 million private jet Elon Musk owns a private jet that is worth a whopping $165 million. It is called the Gulfstream G650ER and is one of the most expensive and luxurious private jets in the world. It has a range of over 7,500 miles and a top speed of over 700 miles per hour. This jet is truly a marvel of engineering. It is incredibly spacious and comfortable, with plenty of room for Musk and his guests to relax and enjoy the flight. It also has all the latest amenities, including a state-of-the-art entertainment system and a fully equipped kitchen. Of course, a jet like this is not just for show. It is also incredibly fast and efficient, making it perfect for long-distance travel. Musk can use it to fly anywhere in the world in just a few hours. So, why does Elon Musk need a private jet like this? Well, for starters, he is a very busy man. He is the CEO of several companies, including Tesla and SpaceX, and he travels all over the world for business. A private jet allows him to travel quickly and efficiently without having to deal with the hassle of commercial air travel. Additionally, a private jet gives Musk a lot of privacy and security. He can travel without having to worry about being bothered by fans or the media. He can also use it to transport sensitive cargo or passengers. Number 1. $500 million Superyacht Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and one of the richest people in the world, owns a $500 million superyacht called the Y721. It is one of the largest and most luxurious yachts in the world, with 22 cabins, a helicopter pad, and a swimming pool. Superyachts are essentially floating mansions. They are typically owned by billionaires who want to enjoy the ultimate in luxury and privacy. The Y721 is no exception. It is equipped with all the latest amenities, including a movie theater, a spa, and a gym. It also has a crew of over 50 people to take care of the guests' every need. Some people might think that it is ridiculous for someone to own a $500 million superyacht. After all, there are people in the world who are struggling to make ends meet. However, it is important to remember that billionaires like Jeff Bezos have earned their money through hard work and innovation. They are free to spend their money however they want. Of course, there are also some practical benefits to owning a superyacht. For example, superyachts can be used to travel to remote parts of the world that are not accessible by commercial airliners. They can also be used to host private events, such as corporate retreats or weddings. 
Ultimately, whether or not you think it is ridiculous to own a superyacht is a matter of personal opinion. However, there is no doubt that the Y721 is an impressive vessel. It is a symbol of Jeff Bezos' success and his ability to afford the best things in life. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos.